One neighbor told me off camera that um, they hear gunshots on the street every single day. They tell me they're always calling police. Now, the family involved, we've learned they've lived on this block for more than 30 years. And although police say that this shooting appears to be likely gang related, the family tells me the shooters got the wrong house and the wrong group. Tell me about your eight-year-old niece that, that passed, the good, the good times, the special memories. Well, she's my goddaughter. So I was at her baptist. I was a godfather, so um, I still have my picture in my wallet. <laughs> Balloons, candles, and a cross now honor Princess Ariana Molina, dead at nine years old. My niece, she got shot in the head right next to me. Before I threw, and when I threw myself, then when I turned around to see what happened, when everybody, the shots were done, like, I heard she, she got shot in the head. It's a pain that cuts deep. An entire family shot hours after celebrating a holy confirmation. Emilio Molino was right there. I went and tried to help another person, one of my cousins. Um, he got shot in the hand and it went through his ribs too. The shooting happened near 52nd and Damon around 9.15 Saturday night. Relatives recall hearing at least 50 gunshots. Police responded after a shot spotter alert of 18 rounds. The family was outside about to cut cake. It was three people. I, I saw them. I just couldn't distinguish any faces. As soon as I saw people running and throwing themselves, I just threw myself too. This was not a random act of violence. It was likely gang related. We don't have anything to do with gangs. We stay away from them. Could they have been after somebody that was at the party? No. No, it was all family. We don't we don't associate with anybody. So it had nothing to do with us. Nine-year-old Ariana was shot in the head and died at the scene. A one-year-old and seven-year-old were shot twice in the stomach. Police say eight adults were shot as well, men and women between the ages of 19 and 40 years old. The family now beyond shock. Today outside the home, bullet holes. One, two, three vehicles with windshield shattered. The head of this Virgin Mary shot as well. The offender's actions, make no mistake, are horrific and unacceptable in our city. And within the last 20 minutes or so, we just put a call into Police News Affairs to ask if there were any additional leads, anyone in custody. They tell us no suspects in custody at this time. In terms of family members still recovering, we do know that there are two adults that are still hospitalized, two children that are hos hospitalized as well. Those children are both intubated at this time. The relative that we spoke with tells me, for the most part, those loved ones continue to be in stable condition. Again, police are investigating this matter ask if you know anything about this case if you know the whereabouts of those shooters please give police a call you can contact them anonymously that is the latest here downtown nate rogers fox 32 chicago